I have a really fun bar workout for you all today. We're going to sculpt, shake and burn. For today's workout, you are going to be needing a chair or a countertop that will support you. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout. I wouldn't want you to miss that. Also, check out my Instagram. It's at tailortoned. Who's ready to get into the burn? Let's go. Bringing yourself up towards your chair, you're gonna pop your right hand on the chair. Feet underneath your hips, outside hand under the waistline. Lift the heels away from the floor and lower back down again. So you're gonna lift up with those heels and lower back down. Now prepare your body for the next half an hour. As you lift the heels, I want you to grow as tall as you possibly can. Two more, down with the heels, then up. Last one, you're gonna lift the heels away. Now option here, if you wanna go there, bring your hands in towards your prep position, hands to heart center, roll the shoulders down, growing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. You've got five, four, three, Two, one, lower the heels, hands towards the waist and lift the leg, we go up. Now other leg, into your traditional knee lifts here in your bar, warm up with me, we go up and up. So bend through the knees, bring the toes in front of yourself. This is a beginner bar workout today, so I'm gonna give plenty of modifications, but for those of you that normally join in, you'll have those advancements as well, of course, lift and lift. I promise to burn, you're gonna get one, you've got five and four, three more, two, one. Hand back to the bar, you're gonna lunge towards the side, then lift, now take it back, in. So we go side, lift, we take it back, in. Go down, lift, take a back lunge, up. Side, lift, we go backwards, lift it up. So you wanna bend in towards that outside leg, bend, now drop the chest down take it back go drop then lift two more back and up one more go down then lift we go back up we're gonna have to face the other way other side so we go down lift we take it back in so now you get to see the opposite version of this side lift we go lunge every time you lunge backwards i want you to make sure you're creating two 90 degree angles with the body Let's warm the legs. Let's get that heart rate up and lift. Lunge. Oh, one more. Go side, then lift. We take it back, then up. Turning round towards me. Then from here, I want you to reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, lift the heels up. Reach both the hands into a fifth. Give me four and three to a plank in two. In one. Facing away from your chair, chin to the chest. You're going to roll out walking towards the plank, hold it, and then you're gonna walk back in, bend through the knees, roll it back up, I appreciate it. This might be a little too tough, so option modification, lower down and just drop towards the knees here. Tuck the toes in to walk in, back and roll it up. Inhale, exhale, now you might have, fortunately, a little bit more room than me. I'm scared of going out of the shot here. So I'm really restricting my movement, but roll through the spine, walk it out to the plank, hold it, and back in again, nice deep breath. Remember that modification, lower down on towards your knees, and you wanna lower down onto the fleshy part of your knees so your toes come in like this to the toes. We have one more of these, roll it up. Chin to chest, roll it down. Now hold your plank. If you're in the modification, you are here, flash your part, knees, toes tucked in. If you're in the advancement, you're up here in a full arm plank. Inhale the breath in, exhale the breath away. Modification of the, at this point, if you're an absolute beginner, just stay on the knees. If you want it a little bit more challenging, outside foot taps to the side, and then back again. So we go round, push, round, push. Hands underneath the shoulders, round, Push. Now don't worry if you've not got good flexibility through those hips. This will warm up your hips. You'll get that heart pounding, which is what I want you to do. I want to shake and I want you to burn. The warmer you get, I promise the more flexible your joints will get. We go round, push, you've got four, then press. We've got three, Ooh. push, you've got two, push. Now last one, you're gonna hold it. Inhale, 
exhale, hands underneath the shoulders, eye line down towards the floor, nice deep breaths. You have just a hold for eight and seven and six. We're gonna go down dog in five, in four, in three. The change comes in two, one. The feet come in line with your hips. Tuck the toes under, take a downward dog. So if you're in that plank modification, right now, come up in towards that V pose to me, that down dog. You're gonna inhale the breath in, lift the heels, and then exhale the breath away, push the heels to the floor. Inhale the breath in, lift the heels, exhale the breath away, push the heels down, lift those hips as high as you possibly can. You wanna open out through the heart, driving through the shoulders, spread the fingertips across the floor. You'll find a good stretch through the back. Inhale, exhale, now lift the heels, lower the knees down towards the floor, and you're gonna bring your feet round towards the front. I'm gonna flip it so I can see my start watch, otherwise it could never be ending this, these tricep dips. You're gonna bring your fingertips towards your heels for me right now. Dig the heels in. Option one, stay here, coccyx tailbone on the floor. Option two, hardy, you're gonna lift the hips away from the floor and you're gonna straighten through those arms. Then you're gonna take a big bend, push, bend, press. I hate that I always say, and then you're gonna, we're gonna, I waste so much valuable time just saying those three words. Go bend and push. We go bend and push. So if you do my classes quite often, you can always add a bend in with that knee. So if you're an absolute beginner here, keep the tailbone towards the floor. So just keep those hips on the floor. If you want it a little bit harder, we're gonna go in, then down, go in and down. But this would also work if you're on the floor. So you bend, bring the knee in. Bend, bring the knee in. We go bend, then push. You've got five, press away, four more. You've got it, three, push away. You've got two, push away. Now last one, you're gonna dig the heels towards the floor. You're gonna inhale, exhale. Find your biggest bend, the deepest bend that you possibly can and take a little miniature. Bend, and then we go, inhale. Exhale, you've got this nice deep breath. I am in it with you, I promise. So many people say, I love that you say you're burning as much as we are at home. Trust me, I am. You've just got six and five and four. You have just three kneeling position in two, one. Well done. You're gonna sweep the feet round towards the back. You're gonna come up in towards a kneeling position. Now I want you to reach the hands towards the side of yourself. Elongate through those fingertips. The hands go up and down. We take them above the head, to the side. Really quick arm set. Blink and you've missed it, this one. You've got three, and drop. You've got it, two, and drop. Last one, go drop. Now shoot the fingertips towards the ceiling. You're gonna bring your palms together, and then touch their elbows, let them go. Touch, let them go. So from side on, you've got a 90 degree angle through the arms. You want those palms together and the elbows. It's like you've got a magnet on your elbows here. They squeeze together, push apart. Squeeze together, push apart. You've got two. Last one, now touch the elbows together. Touch those palms together. Little tiny lift and lift and up and up. Now keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Squeeze the fingertips up towards the ceiling. You have just seven and six and five. You've got four more seconds, three. Two, one, drop the hands towards the floor, tuck the toes under, walk the hands to the feet, slowly and safely maneuver yourself up. You're gonna grab a hold of your bar, grab a hold of your chair in fact, and you're gonna pop your right foot forward and the left knee goes behind yourself, two 90 degree angles, that's so important. Now tuck the back toe under, lift the knee up. So you've got hold of your chair. So this is quite a lightweight chair because it's an outdoor one. Um, it would be more ideal if it was more of a steady, sturdy chair that's not going to go anywhere. So the back toe, it's going to come in, out, in, then out. It comes in and then goes out. So I want you to keep a bend through the front leg here. So we come in, then out. We come in with the toe, in, then out. You have just four. You have just three more here. You got it too. Push back. Last one, you're gonna hold backwards, lunge. If it doesn't feel right, double check the distance of your foot. You want this knee underneath your hip and you want the front knee over the top of your front ankle. We're gonna take a little tiny drop, then lift, 
little down, little up. Now think about a one inch contraction. It's so small, it's so tiny, we go drop, then lift. Now front knee is over the top of your middle toe. And I want you to think about the whole of your body right now. So your hips are tucked under, you're sort of squeezing your glutes together like you've got a nut here in between your bum. Drop and lift, squeeze it. Now pull the abs in. Roll the shoulder blades backwards and down. So slide the shoulders in towards your back pocket. You have just four, then lift. You've got it, three, tiny up. You have just two, then lift. Now last one, hold it down here. We're gonna now go push, I know. Inhale, exhale, we go press and press. Keep going, nice. Deep breaths, you have just eight and seven and six. We've got a full range coming up in five, change in four, in three, in two. Now last one, hold here. The back knee is gonna go all the way to the floor. So inhale, on the exertion, exhale, lower the back knee down. Ooh, ooh, that burn. Inhale, exhale, lower the back knee to the floor. Lift it back up again, so full range. Now try to keep that upper body upright. Now I know your legs will be shaking, burning on fire right now, but try to go, slide the knee down. Ooh, lift it back up, two more, we go. Slide the knee down. Lift it up, front knee over the top of the middle toe, drop down. Now hold here, option, advancement, lift the front heel high, modification, keep it down now, little tiny squeezes, I know. This is when you will really get that bar, burn and shake, squeeze, you have just 10 more seconds of pulsing, you've got nine, commit to that burn and shake, seven and six, you have just five more presses, four calf raises in three, in two, in one, facing towards me, bring your heels together, open out through the toes, hands onto the waist, so lift the heels up, now lower the heels down, we go lift the heels up and lower the heels down, if you're feeling advanced today, option, bring the hand off the bar, pop it onto your hip, lift the heels up, Woo. Oh, my time, I'm clearly not. We go, lift the heels, lower the heels. Now let's up that tempo. So go up and down. Now at this point, embrace your inner ballerina, your inner dancer, you're growing as long as you possibly can. You have a piece of string on your head and it is gliding up towards the sky. We go, squeeze up and grow. We go, squeeze up, grass. I'm like, oh, my old body teacher so much now. And lower. Now last one, you're gonna lower the heels halfway. Halfway, up, down, I know up, down, inhale, exhale, 15 seconds of these half releves here, we go up, down, you should feel it in those calves, we go lift, lower, lift, lower, five, four, three, two, one, Whew. okay, other side, bringing your left foot forward, now right knee goes behind yourself, two 90 degree angles, that's so important, take the back to under, lift the knee off the floor, overhand grip of the bar, we go in, tap back, go in, tap back. So this is great for getting the heart rate high, getting that connection with your thigh muscles, your quad muscles, in, then back, we go for an in. Keep this front knee bent and use it as a lever and anchor in towards the floor. Back, you've got four, tap it back, three, two, one, Ooh, I'm getting out of breath. You're gonna stay here, now roll those shoulders down. Get that imaginary piece of string again and grow it up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the abdominals in. Think about that core engagement. Now add a little tiny. Drop down, lift up. Little drop, little lift up. Back knee goes down towards the floor. It squeezes, squeezes as intensely as possible to the floor. Go down, little lift. Now think about that tiny range of movement. It's small, but it burns. It's so deceiving. So many people look at bar, especially men, and they're like, that's not hard. Well, you try it, and you don't tell me you want to cry at the end. Drop, little lift, go down, and lift. You got four, up, three, I'm shaking, two, lift, now last one, hold it. Roll the shoulders down again, little tiny drop, and drop. Now, quick thing, I think people forget this a lot of the time when they're doing a bar class. Instructors forget to say it. The more you shake and the more you burn, the more change you make into your body. You're improving your health, you're improving your well-being. Squeeze, squeeze. I always find as well, when I've done a good workout in the day, I get a better night's sleep. Pilates is really good for that. Back in the UK, when I used to live in the UK, I used to do hot Pilates all the time. 
I used to do it quite late at night. I'd get home and I'd be like, straight away. I used to love it. Down and down, you've got four more. Three full range in two, in one. Take an inhale here, exhale. Oh my golly. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing. Don't hold the breath through the move. Remember your body needs oxygen in. Give that carbon dioxide out. Breathe in. Exhale, push away. So inhale the strength. Exhale the exhaustion. We are not tired. We are not tired. You've got two. Then lift one more. Go drop and lift option. Advancement front heel goes high. Lower the back knee down for a further advance. Now drop and drop. The lower you go, the more it's gonna burn, the more you're gonna shake and burn. That shaking and burning sensation is your muscle fibers fatiguing out, but it means, guess what, change is happening, so commit to it. You've got seven and six, drop lower, five, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, from here, lower to the floor. Doesn't matter how you get there, just safely do it. Bend, <laughs> provide you bend. I'm gonna sweep my feet forwards and you're gonna lower all the way down in towards a flat back abs position. So start with both feet on the floor. Lift one leg up into a tabletop, knee over the top of your hip, toe in line with the knee, so important, 90 degree angle. Push the palms to the floor, pull the abdominals down towards your mat or your carpet and then float the other leg away. If you can fit in the lumbar spine, imagine your mat is like plasticine, it's like blue tack. You're trying to leave an imprint of every single spinal vertebrae. So pull down through the spine, pull the abdominals in, close the rib cage together. Inhale, exhale. Now, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I went to lengthen your left foot towards the ceiling, sorry. And then squeeze this toe to the floor, lift it all the way back up and connect it through the center. Point through the toe, squeeze down. Now don't worry if you've got tight hamstrings, Trust me, that is me some days. Just don't straighten the leg all the way up. Keep a little bend through the knee. And then as you press, lengthen through the knee. Lift it back up, love this one as well, because it really gets in towards your hip flexors, it tones your lower abdominals. Works your iliopsoas, which is a muscle down here near the hips, a hip flexor muscle. And it also works your rectus abdominals, it works your deepest layer of abs, your transverse abdominals. This really is great for developing core strength developing your core, squeezing down. Some people have such strong legs, such strong upper body. As soon as you put them in this position, they're like, oh my gosh, this is hard. And they also find it hard, obviously, to lose any kind of stomach weight because they can't really get a core connection. So you really need to work on your core. Bring it back up, we go, inhale, exhale. Squeeze it back up, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe you just want strong legs, you don't want strong anything else, that's completely fine. If that's you, this is not for you, but I would recommend an all over body approach to uh, training. We go lengthen, squeeze down, lift it back up, two more, pressing down, squeezing back up, one more, inhale, exhale, press, lift it up. Now you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs together and reach the hands around the outside of the thighs. Any neck, spinal injuries, bring one hand behind the head. Inhale, exhale, chin the chest, peel off the floor. Now bring the hands around the thighs and add a little tiny lift. Up, up. Now option here, if you wanna make it harder, if you're here for the advancement, you can reach both hands away and just give me 10, nine, eight more seconds, seven and six. We're going to a bridge for some seat booty work in four, in three, in two, in one, lower down. Pop the feet to the floor, heels underneath your knees. Now drive the hips up. When the hips are lifted, you should have a 90 degree angle in your legs at the bottom, hands around the hips. So we go down, down, then up. Go drop, drop, squeeze, lift. Go down, down, then up. Now dig the heels in to make it a little bit harder. Peel the chain off the floor, the posterior chain, it peels off the floor. Your posterior chain is all those muscles in the back of your body, you're strengthening it up. We go down, down, lift. Inhale, exhale, give me four. Then up, just give me three. Lift, squeeze, squeeze the butt together. And up, you have one more. Now lift it, hold it, advancement. Hands reach away from the floor, the hips they go down but they don't touch the floor. Lift, squeeze. We take it down, 
we lift and squeeze don't touch the floor now down and up go down and up we go inhale exhale never ever right now let your sit bones your hips whatever you want to call it your butt do not let it touch the floor we go down and lift now go down up down up it'll start to get tough double time squeeze squeeze commit to the burn enjoy that burn with me lift lower lift lower you just have eight seven six five hold in four in three in two now hold it squeeze those hips high option to lift the heels off if you want that advancement now tiny thrusts up and up every time you push squeeze the glutes together and press your hip bones up and up hands are off the floor for that advancement the heels are down for the modification don't worry if you need to modify squeeze we go up and up 20 more seconds left to go how hard can you squeeze your glutes together give me everything if it's burning it's working you are on that route to a brand new round bar bump go up we go for a squeeze and squeeze you've just got six and five and four you've got it three two one well done keep the feet down towards the floor lower the hands down turn the palms up towards the ceiling up towards the sky surrender your body to the sky to space <laughs> and inhale exhale reach the hands above your shoulders start to find a circular motion action through the wrist joints inhale exhale now stay for the stretch try not to switch me off i'm crawling down my arm try not to switch me off and then take that roll that circumduction movement the other way so you're going to get rid of all of those waste products you created during your workout you're going to bring your heart rate back to normal i want you to lift one leg in the sky keep a bend through the knee unless you're feeling super flexible today extend but please be careful and you're going to start to roll through the ankle joint here and if you want a little hamstring stretch here too you're going to bring the hand below the knee joint below the knee joint and then option to try and lengthen behind the knee here other hand can join it you don't have to take this one stay there pulling that leg towards yourself if you want to take a further advancement with this again please be careful you can lengthen this under underneath leg and if you want the full advancement the hands go around the calf this is an advancement now and bring the foot towards the shoulder depends how bendy you're feeling today i clearly not really feeling very bendy you're going to pop this foot back down towards the floor lift the other leg and start to roll find a rotation through the ankle joint <clears throat> and then hold it there the hands come below the knee joint not on the knee joint and you're going to lengthen behind the leg if you want to stay there maybe try and take a little plantar, flex plantar flexion or point through the foot and then further option to lengthen this underneath leg away. You should find the stretch here behind the back of the leg into all those muscles in the hamstring. There's a group of muscles in your hamstring. And then further option to walk the hands higher up the leg and bring the toe in towards yourself, depending on how flexible you're feeling, of course. Draw the knees into the chest, rock it back, rock it forwards. Coming in towards a seated position for me. You're gonna bring your left hand down towards the floor, reach this right hand over the top, inhale. Exhale, take a gaze up towards the ceiling and find some lateral flexion. Just elongate through the side of the body as much as you can. And then bring the other hand all the way up, popping it down towards the floor, reach the other hand over the top of the body, take the eye line towards the sky. There's a plane going overhead if you can hear it. <laughs> And then from here, lift it up. You're gonna bring your hands in front of yourself. Cross, interlace the fingers together. Draw the chin in towards the chest, chest for an upper back stretch. Stretch it in towards your rhomboid, your trapezius, your lats. Inhale, exhale, stretch out through the neck as well. Bring the hands on top of your thighs. You're gonna take a lift of the shoulders. Elevation. <laughs> Give me all the technical words today. And then exhale, <sighs> drop the shoulders down. And then you're going to inhale, lift up the shoulders. And as you breathe out and exhale, let any tension go. <sighs> then you're going to bring your feet behind yourself. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes under, take a down dog. 
Press the heels towards the floor, lift the hips nice and high, spreading the fingertips across your mat, drive the heels towards the sky and elongate through the back of the knees with an inhale and an exhale. Option here to start to run the heels down towards the floor, so one at a time with the breath, inhale, exhale, pushing the heels towards the floor. And then try to connect the heels with the ground, walking the hands in towards your feet. You're going to find a full fold over hamstring stretch crown of the head pulls down towards the floor now have a play around with the weight so rock the weight into the heels draw the toes off and then the rock the weight into the toes draw the heels off and then just find a neutral position where the weight is pretty much equal between your toes and your heels and inhale exhale maybe close the eyes here let any tension drain through the crown of the head out of the body down towards the mat Take a softener bend through the knees, drop the coccyx, the sacrum down towards the floor and start to unwind and peel slowly through the spine, coming away from the floor, round through the shoulders, lift the head up. Give yourself a shoulder roll back, give yourself a shoulder roll forwards, face towards me, shake everything you've got, shake it off, let it go. <laughs> find a breath in, find a breath exhale. Find a neutral position, feet underneath your hips, crown of the head is grown nice and long, shoulders are rolled backwards. Appreciate your workout, appreciate what your body can do, and well done everybody. That's it, your full body bar workout is done for today. Leave a comment down below, let me know how you found it with a chair, or if you did it with a worktop, let me know how that was as well. Drop me any feedback down there. Don't forget to hit subscribe, check out my Instagram, at Taylor Toned, and I'll see you in a couple of days time for another Pilates and bar inspired workout. Bye.